The third time's a charm, but for only one team. Dick and I'll find out which team continues on their quest for a championship after today's third round game between the Northwestern Wildcats and the TCU Horn Frogs. Hey Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Horn Frogs might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. First of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Both teams are looking to get something going here. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's expected to do all the things that will put them in a position to win at the end of the day down inside looking for the foul and he scores despite the hack he's got a pass it on make a play Brad from downtown way off target Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he scores it off the glass. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Receives the ball. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Walsh handles the feed. Great play to take that to the basket. Terry look from three-point land. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Looking for a good shot. He looks for the bomb. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. For two, perfectly executed. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> On the outside. Good fake. Got the shot if he wants it. From three-point land. Sinks the shot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. From beyond the arc. Goes. <laughs> K 
Page handles the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Gets it to go. They go into the low block. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. for two perfectly executed they scored seven in a row and it takes some pride on the defensive end stolen away they run it up into transition for the bucket they are red hot right now they're feeling it from everybody on the floor brad they're getting it from every spot on the court he shoots from left of the circle Poor decision there to shoot that three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He takes the shot from the baseline. He makes the shot. That's an 11 zip run. here after the timeout. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Trying to feed the low block. Picks off the lazy pass. For two. Drains it. is emotionally fired up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Goes up for two. The Horn Frogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the key. Way off target. Think right now, got to focus defensively. Takes it off him. From right at the circle, sinks it. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up, puts up the shot, makes the shot. Stolen away. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Defense giving some room. He attempts the three. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot.
Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark. Lane draws the personal. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's game. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. The Horned Frogs are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He makes the first shot. Free throws go. And he'll kick it back outside. Walsh receives the pass. Good job defensively. Goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. On the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. player spotting up on the three there's a bad pass right to the defender he launches the bomb goes in both teams are looking to get something going here we're going to move it around the perimeter Attempts the trifecta. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They'll work it around the arc. In the paint. Looking for contact. Switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Definitely a foul. 
Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. team to stop it. Steals the ball. Gave it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He takes a three. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. <laughs> it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of play. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the circle. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. And he'll kick it back outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. That's a 19-0 run. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. And again, they look to run. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. The perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes it away. Tries for two. Drains the shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. Close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post.
Gave it up. Steals the pass. Up and inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For the bucket, they still don't score. Turnaround jumper doesn't go. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Shoots from outside. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Tries the three. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. From three-point territory, way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And he scores it off the glass. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. Pull up jumper from way out. Gets it to fall. Right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Two for one opportunity. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. from the post and goes the other way. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. In and out. Nearly every single shot has been a challenge so far, Dick. Hey, the defense is really ready for action, baby. At the end of the first half, the Wildcats are trailing by 34. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. TCU really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half, Dick. Hey, collecting the boards and canceling out second chance opportunities, that's how you win ball games, baby. The 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. They're working around the arc. He shoots from long range. He gets the bucket to fall. The center with the ball. And in and out. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. Outside. That's been moved. Not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats it to the spot. The point guard gets the ball. Sets his. He blocks the shot. Dumps it in. That's been moved. Not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Stolen. Now in transition, trying to score the other way. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Perfectly executed. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. The blocks the shot. That number's right here. Goes up for two. Easy one. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. With a sensational block. And the ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He didn't have the good angle, but should have got it to him about a second earlier. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumps in with a layup. Sometimes you got to take that whipping ride. Well, the D certainly is tonight. the dribble gives it up they work it back to the outside lobs it for the deuce drops the bucket despite the harm <laughs> try to come up with a steal and they do a little bump says I love Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. What a great play. 
Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Number 20 going to the line for the first time tonight. Sinks it. Gave it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from right of the circle. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He throws it up from downtown. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He puts it up. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul. He beats him to the spot. Got a wide open look. He pulls the trigger. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Steals the pass. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let the replay show us the real deal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the words that they have. Yeah, that helps. That was nice. Well, that's a foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from right of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Thinks about the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Take it away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I tell you, not waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? 
Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. That spin move's not going to work against the deep. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. He looks at the hoop. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender, sinks the shot. The Horn Frogs lead by 26. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. The shooting guard takes the pass. Up and in. Little showtime. It's going to be a three point play. Got the foul. The bench loves it. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. At the free throw line. Good. Up and inside. The small forward gets the pass. He attempts the trifecta. He gets it to go. Looking for a good shot. The Horn Frogs have a special roster, which I know you're in love with. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. Guns up the deep one. He drains it. The power forward takes the feed. They still don't score. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. And they get the turnover. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're funny excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards that they have yeah that helps northwestern are on a bit of a run let's see how long they can keep it up Brad. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. For two, the Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. In the paint. 
Executes the baby hook. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He shoots from the elbow. Northwestern are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For the deuce. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big close player. Very difficult to block that shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Stolen ball. They push it up on the break. He comes away with it. They'll work it around the arc. He dials long distance. Buries it. The Wildcats are behind by 23. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. The Wildcats trail by 25. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Makes it. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. Entry pass in the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. On the outside. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. In the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Working it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Isn't that 
something. He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. At the line. Misses it. Grabs the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up for it. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. There's a high screen. Draws the whistle and a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with it right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Three. Rims out. For the bucket. Goes in. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And he missed. Goes up for two. He drains the bucket. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Jumped in front to take it away. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Double team now. Bad angle. Shot clock is dead. Now they work it around the perimeter. He goes for three. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job he dials long distance all right Dick this one's over one team moves on one team's got to go home and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament well I tell you they won this game Brad when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment they did a terrific job offensively Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. TCU just wanted it a little bit more in this game. and.